Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so this is the video for in person. So again, I'm making a lot of these videos at once. So just to kind of put everything in context, uh, this video is for journalism 180010. As a reminder, it's up to you on how you would like to attend each class. So um, the three options in person, option one, option two, scheduled online or live stream, option three, flexible online or pre-recorded. Um, I went over the other two, I have videos on those. So this video is for in-person. Not a lot to go over. I'm sure you know how to come to class in person, um, but just a couple of things, you know, obviously we're, we're dealing with some, you know, special circumstances. So um, just to kind of let you know, we are meeting in room A240, okay? Um, I'm sure I've made that very clear. I will have that on whatever announcement or message that I post this on, um, but I, I guess why not? I'll type it right here too. A240, okay? That is the room that we're going to meet in. Again, we meet Tuesdays, 6 o'clock to 8.50 p.m. A240. Um, okay, I don't know why I wrote that, but sure. Another quick thing that I want to throw out there. Uh, parking is, or I shouldn't say parking, but entrances are limited, okay? I would suggest entering in this building right here. This is the A building. Um, not the greatest picture, but it's the best one I could pull up um, while making this. Enter in the A building. Our class begins at six. Try to come a little bit early. Again, if you haven't done this yet, know that when you come into the A building, there's actually going to be sort of like a COVID check where they're making sure they're wearing your face mask and you have to like go by this like thermometer thing. So that takes a little bit of time, uh, but the A building is open for you to enter specifically through this front entrance. Um, and then room A240 is very close to this, this entrance here. Um, I was gonna maybe try to explain to you where it's at, but all I'll say it's very close. I'm sure if you ask the front desk person, they'll, uh, happily point you in the right direction but the room is a240 it's on the same level as this it's somewhere it's somewhat near the library um okay so that's that and again i'll make this quick um but another thing i want to highlight which is super important which again i'm pretty sure i made clear but i'll make it clear again if you are coming to class in person you must wear a face mask um i'm going to be i'm not I'm not going to be, I have been, and I will continue to be very strict on this. Um, I had a couple issues last semester, so I kind of updated my policy and it's on the syllabus and I talked about it, I think in some of the messages I sent in, uh, sent out, I should say, but there's no warnings, okay? If, if you come to class and you're either not wearing a face mask or halfway through the class, you decide to take off your face mask or maybe you allow your, I probably shouldn't cover my mouth, but you allow your face mask to come below your nose and sit like this, you will not receive a warning. I will ask you to leave for the day, okay? If I ask you to leave, uh, it's gonna count as an unexcused absence. That's it. So I'm super strict on this. Um, I sent out this link before. I probably have the link in somewhere attached to this video, either the announcement that I posted on or um, in the YouTube description of this, whatever, it'll be somewhere. You don't have to get this mask by any means, um, but I can just tell you that I've been teaching face-to-face -face since last semester, and I've gone through many different masks and trying to find out what works best. Uh, for me, right, I mean, it's totally subjective, but for me, this has worked best. Um, the SafeMate large, extra large, it's plenty big enough to cover your entire face. I kind of have a a weird nose that kind of gets in the way. So um, a lot of masks for me didn't properly fit. And this one did, it, it fits all the way around. I could speak without it drooping down too much. Um, so I highly recommend it. Do I got anything else to say about that? Again, you can wear whatever mask you want as long as it's a proper face covering. Um, but I just want to point that out. Um, <clears throat> is there anything else I want to say? And when you come to class, again, we'll go over all this on the first day, but I, I I do not accept technology in the room. So please just bring a notebook 
something to write on and something to write with. Um, no computers, no cell phones, etc. Also, I'm just going to say this as well. You know, know that you have other options. So if you're going to have a difficult time wearing a face mask for a two hour and 50 minute class, because again, to be clear, we're meeting for two hours and 50 minutes. Um, and you do receive one 10 minute break. Uh, but I know that that's still a long time. If you are going to have any difficulties whatsoever wearing a face mask for the entire class period, you have two other options. You could do the scheduled online slash live stream, or you can do the flexible online slash pre recorded. I have videos on both of those and how to uh, do that, how to follow through with those um, approaches. You know, maybe you'll come to the first day and do face to face and you might not like it. And then you decide for the next class, you'll do scheduled online. That's totally fine too. It's totally up to you and how you would like to come to each class. Um, but just know that there's no excuses. Okay. There's no excuses for face to face when it comes to uh, face covering. All right. Again, I'm going to be super strict this semester. It has to cover your entire face. I had a lot of issues last semester with like masks coming down to the nose or students kind of messing around, you need to keep the face mask on the entire time. Again, if it slips down, no warning. I'm not gonna say pick up your mask. We can all tell when our mask is covering from under our nose. Um, I'm gonna ask you to leave. Same thing, obviously, I guess I'll make this explicit, but you cannot eat or drink in the class either, right? If you were to eat or drink, you'd have to take off the mask, can't happen. So no food, no drink, no breath mints. Um, again, I'm, I'm gonna be super serious with this this semester uh, and I have last semester, but I had a couple issues. So I'm gonna be even more uh, severe. Again, very clear. You need to wear your face mask. It needs to cover your entire face from beginning to end. All right. So I think that's it. Um, you might wanna check out the other videos because those are gonna walk you through on some things you need to do for scheduled online, some things you'll do for the flexible online. Um, so yeah, and also I go over the modules in the flexible online one, which might be helpful to you. Uh, I think that's about it. All right, I think that's all I got. Um, I'm just looking at my notes. If you have any questions before the start of the semester, I know we're uh, coming close shoot me an email. I almost said A240. That's not my email. My email is zposada at mchenry.edu. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So thank you, and I'll see you in class.